Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my long-term subscribers. I appreciate you all. Today we're going to go ahead and work on a cute granny stitch um, tote bag. I have my tools here. We'll be using this Rizal, um, this yarn here. It is a 100% acrylic hook. I'm going to use my six millimeter hook and a couple of stitch markers. So I'm going to use only one skein. Well, I'm going to use two strands, but I'm going to use um, one skein for the two strands. So I don't waste yarn. My yarn doubled up here. And we're going to start off with our slip knot. And because we're going to make granny square stitches with this project, we're going to need multiples of three. So I'm going to chain 30. Okay, so I have my 30 chains here. I'm going to add two chains. And in your third chain from the hook, we're going to make a half double crochet. So your first loop on your hook does not count. Go ahead and skip those first two chains and make your half double crochet. We're working on the base of your of the tote bag. Go ahead and make one half double crochet into each stitch across. Your chain two, the extra two chains that you added does not count as a double crochet. So go ahead and continue on and Oh yeah, and also when you make your first stitch, go ahead and add a stitch marker. I did forget to mention that you will need at least two stitch markers. And put your stitch marker into that first stitch. I'm going to change out these stitch markers because this is actually for a thinner yarn. But go ahead and make your half double crochets all the way across. And I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 30 half double crochets here. Now go ahead and when you get to your last double crochet, in that last stitch, you're going to make three half double crochets because we're rounding the corner. We're coming around to the bottom half of your chain. So you want to have three half double crochets into that last stitch and then you're going to place your stitch marker in the second half double crochet so there's your first there's your second one and your third this is the second one you're going to put your stitch marker in there okay now we're going to make our way around to the other side. So remember, this is the very first stitch of that row. You just put three half double crochets in there. So now we're going to come around and we're going to go into that first. This is the bottom of that first half double crochet. So go into the bottom and make another half double crochet. And then you're going to do that across again. Just make one half double crochet into each stitch. And remember, you're going into the bottom of the next. So that's the next half double crochet. You're going to put your hook right in there in the bottom. Right here in the bottom. And make a half double crochet. Okay. Keep making your way over. And I'm going to meet you right before we get to that stitch marker. Okay, so I'm at my last stitch, which is last the um, stitch 30. And we're going to yarn over and go and make our last half double crochet. Now we're back at the beginning. So at the beginning, just like we did on this end, we want to have three half double crochets. So since you have one already, just go right into that stitch with two more half double crochets. And when you've made that second one, go ahead and remove that stitch marker. 
Now, I know I was supposed to change this one because I forgot. <laughs> and then put it in the second half double crochet. And that's that middle one of those three half double crochets. Okay. Oops. So now we can continue on. Do not slip stitch. Just go right into the same, into your first stitch with a half double crochet. And now we're just going to make one half double crochet going around. Actually, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. Um, keep making one half double crochet into each stitch. We're going to do another round. This is the second round. And this is going, this is the bottom portion of the bag, of your tote bag. So keep making your half double crochets going all the way across. And I'm going to meet you right at the end, right before that stitch marker. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row. And I'm going to remove my stitch marker. Now here's where I made a mistake. I should have only made one half double crochet here because when I made two it gave me 37 so you want to put just one half double crochet there so that you can have 36 stitches now put your stitch marker back into its place and this is just so you can know where the very first stitch is we want our first stitch to be on the side of the project just like it is on the other side so now you're just going to continue on making your half double crochets going across. I'm going to have five rows. I'm going to make five more rounds of these half double crochets going all the way around. So each side should have five rows of half double crochets. You can remove that stitch marker if you want to. It's up to you. So I'm going to keep going around until I get to the end and then when you get to the end you will remove your stitch marker because you want to know where your first place is and just continue making your half double crochets going around. Now I'm increasing one more time adding three more half double crochets that was the end of the row there making those last ones so now you're just going to go all the way around keep going around for five more rows. So I'm going to keep going, making my five rows going around, and I'm going to meet you when I have five more additional rows. This is the bottom portion of the garment. I will be back. Each side should have five rows when you count it. Okay, so I have my five rows of my half double crochets on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. So you should have five rows. That's what it should look like on the inside. And let's continue on. So now we have 37 half double crochets going around. We're at our first stitch. Now, because we need an even number of stitches, we need uh, multiples of three for our granny square, and we have an additional stitch here, this is how you fix that. So instead of making three double crochets into the first stitch, you're going to make one double crochet, skip one, and then go into the next stitch with your granny stitch, which is three double crochets. So because we have that additional stitch, we have that extra stitch, that first stitch will be a double crochet. You're going to skip one and then make three double crochets in the next stitch. So now we're going to skip two instead of one and go into that third stitch and make another three double crochets. And make your granny square. Make your granny cluster. That's what we're going to call them, granny clusters. Again, skip two and make another granny cluster with 
<laughs> another green cluster, which is three double crochets into that one stitch. So it keeps just doing that all the way around. Oops. Skip two and make your granny cluster. Err. When you're doubling your yarn, make sure that you have all of the loops on the hook so that you get everything in one stitch. Yes. Or and you don't have to double up your strands. You can use a thicker yarn if you want to. Um, use a number five bulky if you want to but I kind of like this because it's kind of in between that it's right before that real bulky and this yarn is so soft I'm so in love with it so I'm going to keep going and you're going to skip to and make your granny square cluster which is the three double crochets so keep making your way around and I'm going to meet you right before that first double crochet that we made in the row. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. All of our granny stitches going around. We're actually at the end of the row because there's that double crochet. So now what's going to happen? You're going to skip two and immediately go right into your next section. Now you're not going to go into this third double crochet. You're going to go in between the cluster and that one double crochet that you made in the beginning of the row. So there's your last three clusters. You're going to skip two and go right in between that double crochet and your first granny square cluster of the row. And now guess what? You can't even tell that that double crochet is there. So you just keep making your way around. Now you're going to go in between each of your clusters. So right in between each of your granny stitches, oops, your granny clusters. You shall call them clusters because we're not making a granny square, but you're using the stitches for a granny square. Three. And go right into the middle of the next one and make your three double crochets. Okay, so just keep doing that around. I'm going to do that for a total of 10 rows. So when I come back, I'll have 10 rows. You can remove your stitch marker if you want to. You don't really have a need for it anymore, at least not just yet. So go ahead and remove that stitch marker and continue on. When I come back, I will have... 10 rows of these granny clusters. So let me show you what that looks like a little closer up, up close and personal. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Come back to me when you have your 10 rows. So I'm back and I have my 10 rows of my granny clusters here. I only used two two and a half skeins so far. Well, this is my third skein. So I haven't used quite half of it just yet. So now I've made my last granny's cluster here. I'm going to go into the second stitch here and just slip stitch and to end that off. I'm doing that there because if you go down to the bottom, there's that double crochet that we made when we had an uneven number of stitches. When we had our 37, we made our double crochet. So that's where that double crochet ends. And that's where you end your project. So go ahead and slip stitch. And chain one. Now we're going to do some rounds of half double crochet just to tighten it up a bit. So just like we did on the bottom, we're going to do five rows of half double crochets going all the way around. So once you've made that slip knot, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, once you've made that slip knot and chain one, go right back into that same stitch with a half double crochet. And you're just going to put one half double crochet into each stitch going around.
into each of those double crochets make one half double crochet and we're going to do that for five rounds have five rounds of these half double crochets and then we will work on the straps so keep making your way around and make your five rows of half double crochets and I'll be back okay so I have my five rows of half double crochets and this is what she's looking like okay so now I stopped at my first stitch and now instead of me binding off we're going to work on the strap you don't always have to cut off for a strap you can stop at a certain point crochet back and forth till you get the length that you want so we're going to chain one we're going to turn turn the work and we're going to stick with our half double crochets except uh yeah we're going to stick with our half double crochets and we're going to do five i'm sorry four half double crochets that's two this is three and that's four so chain one turn your work and make another and then just do four half double crochets oops one two three and four now you're going to make a strap for as long as you want to at least until it reaches to the other side of your work so you're going to make it as long as you can as long as you want to get to this side you can make it long short make it long enough for it to be a crossover bag but i'm going to do i'm not sure maybe about 40 rows or at least until i get close to this end here so go ahead and make your half double crochets do four of them back and forth until you want your strap as long as you want it to be and when I come back I'll have it much longer than it I'm not sure how many rows I'm gonna do but I'm going to come back and I'll have my rows okay so I'm back and I have my strip done here this is 50 rows 50 rows of half double crochets so now we're on the other side now you can make this longer if you want to but i actually kind of like it kind of short like this so now we're going to go directly over to the other side make sure that your strap is nice and long we're going to go ahead and chain one and bind off go ahead and pull that through make that nice and tight you probably want to make your strand longer than what i did here in fact make it longer <laughs> because you want to be able to weave that in on the other side and you want to have enough yarn to do that so go ahead and grab your bag and come to the other side and if you need to you can just open it up and bring that over so you can see where to start make sure it's nice and even you know test it out make sure everything is laying the way that it should lay so I have it going from one end to the next. Now I'm going to sew the strap on the inside. Okay. That's going to give it some more security. And again, I'm just checking and making sure that I have it exactly where I want for it to be. So now grab our strap and put it on the inside. Okay, making sure everything lines up. 
and now we're going to sew. So since we're going in the inside, we're going to come into that, you come down some, come into that first half double crochet, put your needle into the next one, the one over the bag portion, and then go ahead and sew that in. Now again, make your, your make your yours longer than I did here. Uh, and then go back through, make sure you're going into the stitch and pull through. Do it again on the other side, go into the stitch and into the one on the other side and pull through. And just keep doing that. You're going to do it four times because all you have is four half double crochets. And then make your way back over again. So we're still, we're on the other side now. So now just loop back through. And then go back into the previous stitch and back into your bag again. And we're basically just securing our the end of the strap to the other side of the bag. So I need to fix this because I need to add more yarn. And when I come back, I'll have this done. But make sure you do that several times. Go in and out of the stitches a few times so we can make sure so that you can make sure that it is secure. So I'll come back when I'm when I fix this. Well, here she is. Nice, cute tote bag. You can make this strap a little longer if you want to. As I said, I put 50, uh, 50 rows of those half double crochets, but you can do as many rows as you want. And this is what it looks like when it's crossed over. And then you can just put it on your arm if you want. You don't have to cross it over. You can just put it over one shoulder and carry it like that if you want to. So I actually like it with the crossover. Nice sturdy bag. our bag nice cute tote bag easy and quick to make here's the strap and we started off with half double crochets on this side we did not detach and then we went ahead and or I did <laughs> sewed it on that side nice and secure I weaved in all of my ends and that's that so I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Have an awesome, awesome day, guys. Bye-bye.